Hello everyone, I'm Psychotic, and that's also my screen name. Today we're checking out a loft. It's a survival game with an emphasis on exploration and discovery. There's a very unique harvest system, a crafting discovery system, and flight. Uh, this game is obviously still early in its development cycle, but I really feel like they're onto something here. Uh, the glider allows you to traverse from floating island to floating island. You can kind of see in the background here. Um, you can glide upwards as well, which really allows flight with a stamina system. Uh, there are water spouts that are spawned by this giant hurricane that the floating islands are around that give you stamina back and push you up a little bit. So you really have full control when you're airborne. It's, it's fantastic, and I absolutely adore flying in games. Um, there are tons of recipes to discover. There are recipes for building that you can find from runestones on the islands. And you can discover new crafting recipes by playing with different combinations of materials that you found. Uh, the harvesting's more than just your, your run up to an object and hit it like in most survival games. There's a little mini game involved that keeps you involved and takes the grind out of grinding. Uh, the real draw, though, is that you can not only fly with your glider, but if you discover all of the proper recipes, you can actually chuck a wheel down and fly an entire island. So let's buckle up and enjoy the flight while we check out a loft. As always, if you learn anything useful today or if you have a good time, please don't be afraid to drop a like. And if you're feeling friendly, maybe go ahead and subscribe. But either way, let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to start with character selection, and I have already made one, but we're going to look at the, the character creation options. There's quite a bit that you can look into here. There's lots of different skin colors, obviously. Um, most of the looks have kind of a Pacific Islander aesthetic, which kind of fits with the game style. It's not particularly surprising. Um, you've got kind of your skinny boy, your, your buff boy, and your chonky boy, and the same for the girls, which is kind of nice. Uh, and then, like I said, all the heads are going to be kind of uh, Pacific Islander-style shapings. A lot of the aesthetic in this game is, is very Pacific Islander. It's kind of cool. It's different. Different in an exciting way. There's several different hair colors that you can choose from, several different hairstyles. Very similar in amongst most uh, games that allow you to choose your own look. I don't understand why he still has that goofy mustache. There we go. And then there's some stuff that's still coming soon. You can name your person whatever you want. Um, we're just going to name him person. Because we already have one. So we can confirm, confirm. Pretty basic, but still fun. When you start your game on your new map, this has a lot of settings. So you've got a creative mode, a peaceful mode. You can add starting kit. And you can change your map size based on your computer how, how well your computer can handle it. Now, these are the number of islands around the hurricane, so that's kind of neat. The custom islands, you can build your own islands, but that's not really implemented yet, so we're not really going to look into that. Uh, we will name it The Haven. All right. We'll see you on the other side of the loading screen. So when you start in, it's mostly first person unless you're gliding. Oh, let's give it a second to catch up. It's angry. And it looks like there's a storm going on, and that's mostly because there is a storm going on. So that checks out. So we've got a nice little island to explore here. You do have stamina and health in the bottom left. Uh, as far as I can tell, there are food items that you can collect and some animals that you can uh, make pets out of, but uh, they are not... You don't need to eat, so they're not food. Now... If we continue up the path, which is more or less here, we're going to get our very first rune stone. So these are where you get your building recipes from. Get ourselves some rocks. And they all have little sayings, which is kind of cool. So we learned the workbench, which is awesome because we need that to make any kind of a tool. So if we go into B, we can build a workbench. And we're just going to uh, chonk it down here. And then here is the, the absolute meat of the crafting, because you actually have to discover recipes. So, for instance, if we learn with three of these, now we can make a cloth. And if we make said cloth, then we can learn new recipes with the cloth added in. So that's kind of cool. So there's our hammer for building. 
There's our sharp rock that we're going to need for a lot of recipes. There's our pickaxe. And then here you can find recipes that you've already made. So let's go ahead and equip our pickaxe. So if we get into our inventory, we never actually made a pickaxe. So if we make our pickaxe... So now we can get into our inventory and actually do some harvesting. So for instance, these that used to take this. So if you look in the bottom there, there's a little wheel. And if you hit it in that perfect spot, then you get some extra materials out of it, as far as I can tell. Or at least some materials out of it, because sometimes you don't. Let's see if we can't come back down here and find one of these rocks. Now, gliding works the same way with the boost. When you boost, you get a single boost, and then you get a wheel like that with a moving portion that if you hit the boost button again when the portion hits the portion, you can get multiple boosts out of a single boost. Some nice caves. It's very stylized graphics, but there's some really pretty stuff through here. You can see some of the debris and birds up there. Another recipe stone. A little mini jump puzzle to get to it. So from this one we get the sawmill. And that's going to be huge. Oh, this is quaint. You can collect water. It says dirty water, but since we don't need to eat or drink, I'm pretty sure it's only used for crafting. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a new one of these so that we don't have to run back down to our old one. And then to make the bed, we're going to need two of those, those guys. Whoops. So if we put our bed down, that's going to give us a place to actually respawn if we need it. So we can hold E to set home, which is not surprising. That's very normal. Now here we've also got some of these that we can put down. So we need two sharp stones. And the longer you hold it, the faster it starts to go. So you do have to be a little careful. But that's all right. So you can actually grab from up here and attach this to a windmill-like structure that will auto-spin it for you, or we can just use it. So if we tell it we want to make all three, if we hit F in the white area, so when this bar fills up, you're going to get one anyway, but you get one every time you hit F in the white area. So if you hit it very rapidly, then you can craft a whole lot faster. And there's our glider. Okay, so it is equipped. Now with our glider, we can do all kinds of fun stuff. It works like most games where you just jump while you're already in the air. But as you can see, we can actually glide upwards. So we're not stuck like you would be in most games. The music is absolutely glorious. And then if you hit your boost button, there's a little wheel in the bottom there. And as long as you keep hitting it during the white area, you can boost to increase your speed. And there are tons of islands, all of those sparkles. Well, we saw that we set it to 500. That's going to allow us to get around. You do have to watch your stamina while you're gliding, but that's all right. All right, a bunch of free stuff, which is always good. Hard to go wrong with free things. I believe
Is this a corrupted island? Yep, this here is a corrupted island. So that's where the enemies live. And see here we've got some corn. So there are some plants in the game and food items. Even though we don't have a food requirement. So I'm betting that we're going to get some kind of a buff out of those. Down here there's a little animal. But uh, even if we had a weapon, which we don't on this guy yet, you can't actually hurt it. You can only feed it. There we go. So this here is our helm. That is the first part that we need to make the smaller islands into uh, potentially airships. And it won't work on these larger items if we had the stuff to put it down, or islands rather. It will say that uh, the island is too big to become a ship. Now, at first, your, your first instinct might be to avoid these guys, but they actually regen your stamina and give you a bit of a height boost. And speed boost. So there's our rudder. Now all that we need is our lift. And we will have everything that we need to turn our island into a flying island. Oh, and I missed my window. Oh, I did not realize. Stone and windstones, excellent. It's so peaceful to just fly around. I absolutely adore games that let you fly. It's so nice. And here we are at home. So let's see what else we got. We got some of this stuff. So there's rope. Now we have a spyglass so we can see islands and identify them from further out. There we go. We should have all of the tools currently unlocked available. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six of the stones. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And it speeds up, so you do have to be a little, be a little bit careful. So we should have a full tackle of equipment at this point. So, if we use our spyglass, that tells us it's an emerald island. We're on an emerald island. And some of the others I think we're going to have to get a little bit closer to to see. I think we are too far out. So here we can use our brand new hammer. We can actually repair some of this stuff. So, so you can not only build your own bases, but you can actually find other ones and fix them up. 
Now when these fall, they break into planks that your logs that you then have to also chop. So then we chop the extra logs. Oh, we lost one. We lost two. It's unfortunate. Then we have our extra tool here where we can get one last one out of the stump. And I think it's because we're chopping wood up on top here. Which is kind of foolish in retrospect, but it is what it is. Alright. Let's head back down to where we sleep. Alright, so if we try to chunk down that uh, wheel that we just found the recipe for to fly our home island, it's going to tell us, well, first it's going to tell us that we're missing resources. Oops. So you can actually wind up making these pretty fast if you don't want to wait for the bar, if you are good at timing games. Oops. If you miss, the bar gets bigger. The more you do it, the smaller it gets. Alright, so we should now be able to... And it's going to tell us this island is too big to sail, it is impossible to move it. So we're going to have to find one of those smaller islands out there. Obviously one that's not corrupted. Oh, and some pumpkins. So if we try to chuck down a wheel here... We can. Now, if we try to pilot, it's going to tell us, build more floaters and more rudders and sails. So we don't have any of those things yet. But I feel like making our home on an island small enough to fly is going to be a better use of our resources than making our island on a big ol' island, or our home on a big ol' island that we can't do anything with. Because this will allow us to get around to the rest of the game without having to, uh... You know what, we're going to leave that and see if it regrows. That was dumb. I should have chopped it the other direction. Well, poop. And you can also build uh, markers and storages. So the storages are nice in that they only take one of the material that you can store in them. Now these um, leaf baskets can hold pretty much anything with a limited inventory space. So the storages are still going to be a little bit better as far as those kinds of things go. Alright, so there's that guy. And then this one we're actually going to turn the other way so I don't keep accidentally grabbing the, uh... Who's it? Oh, no we're not. We're going we're gonna to build some stones first. Alright, so that gives us access to lumber. We're going to need a new bed. This we're going to put over here because it's not going to be a thing that we use as often. And some seeds, so we could always plant. Alright. Now let's check down some storages. That'll help us out a little bit. Well, we're going to need storages that we actually have materials for. Now one of the really, really, really nice things that this game has done, that I wish every survival game ever would do, is any leaves that we put in our stockpile here, is anything that you put in these you can craft with on site without having to pull it back out. So if we put all of our rocks in here and we put all of our wood in here and our leaves and then we come over here we can still craft as if we have them which is absolutely phenomenal and I wish every game ever would do that. Okay, so if we create a custom basket, we can actually pick what size we want. So we're going to make a big one. This is going to be for generic items. So we can put other items in here, like our water. And we could put our resources in here. So let's see if we can find one of... Well, we could go explore the Corrupted Island. Let's go check out a Corrupted Island first. Well, we'll check this on our way. You know what? Sometimes I do some silly things. We forgot to set this as our home, which is going to make it very hard to find in the maelstrom. 
So we just said goodbye to our old island. This island is now our home. So let's see if we can find a recipe here. Oh, we already got this one. So let's go explore a corrupted island. So we are confused. That can't be good. Whoa. Yeah. Destroy the nodes to cleanse the island. Oh, good. Good thing we made a sickle, huh? As you can see, the knife that we're using for combat follows the same kind of rules as uh, our other stuff. There is a block. So are these the nodes, then? They are the nodes. Okay, well we are we are hurting. That is not good. Okay, we're going to pop back home and heal up before we go back again. There we go. So let's kill those other three nodes. You know what? This island looks smaller. Or is it all part of the same? Okay, so that's how we cleanse an island. This island is now free. And there's a recipe. We learned how to make a cooking plate. Okay, so running out of stamina does not dump you off the glider. And foods give you additional max HP, it looks like. At least the raw ones. Granary. Making food. Okay, so we need ten planks. That's easy to do. So granary is not super big, which is good. Wet, so consta stamina consumption has increased. We're exhausted. And we're at home. Oh, so pretty. Oh, it's still dirty water. This looks like it was uh, a house at one point in time. Or at least could very easily become one. There we go. So there's a floater. A leaf sail.
Okay, so we can't actually use this until we clear it. Well, maybe. It did say learn. Nope. Yep, we have to cleanse the island first. There we go. Hey, there's our sail. I think we have everything we need to make our island fly. Ooh. There's something down below us. Oh, a cave system. Oh, an extra recipe. Excellent. Oh, a map. Always good. Alright, and then we need a couple of sails. So we need three ropes, five planks, and two things per sail. Okay, with two sails, can we go? Yes, we can. Okay, so control is down. Space is up. W is forward, S is back. There is no reverse. So let's take our island over here. So we're moving at 14 knots with the winds going, and we do have a wind indicator in the top left up there, it looks like. So we can catch a little bit more wind when we need it. So there we go. Now we don't have to fly over here to clear off this island because our island flew. That is so friggin' cool. We just hijacked an island! Oh, I love it. So this game is slated to come out this year. It is currently in demo. The demo is free to play right now on the Steam Store. But I highly recommend that you check this out because even the demo is just so fun to tool around with. I mean, we just flew an island. How awesome is that? But definitely check it out, especially if this is the kind of thing that interests you. I know it definitely is me. But, uh, yeah. This is, this is the intro to a loft. If you learned anything useful today or if you had a good time, please don't be afraid to drop a like. If you're feeling friendly, maybe go ahead and subscribe. But either way, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I am probably going to keep playing this because this is friggin' cool. Have a good one, and we'll catch you next time.